Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you what happens in the evaporating dish on the hot plate. And what you can possibly hear right now is that the salt water is inside the hot plate and it's getting quite, quite hot and it is boiling. And as it is boiling, it is bubbling. And steam is coming off. And what this will do is it will leave some salt residue behind. So we are going to start the timer. I'll tell you the last time. Okay, so here we go. We're going to start. Okay, uh, 10 minutes has elapsed, has gone by, and we have half of the water level remaining. And you will slowly start to see a ring of salt start it to form around the edges. And if I take my containment pointer here, you can see that there's this little salt ring on this side. So we're going to check back in a couple more minutes when more water has evaporated. It takes a lot longer on a hot plate than it does with a Bunsen burner. Okay, now we are at 16 minutes and you can start to really see the salt rings forming around the outside. I'll try my best to capture that on the video for you. Here is one big ring of salt and another big ring of salt. So it's just going to continue to go on and on and on. I'll check back after a little bit more time has gone by. Okay, time lapse to 20 minutes. And what you see here is all of the water has evaporated and it leaves the salt behind. And if you take a look, I can scrape a little bit off. You can see how the salt collects, leaving the opposite of solubility. This is extracting and evaporating off solvent and having salt remain behind. So we have a separated mixture. Here's the original salt. The only difference between this salt and the salt that you get at the market is that this one is not granular, so it's not in a big block. Okay, that's what we have. Voila, salt.